Hollywood legend is now fighting for his life. Good evening, everybody. It's now 11 o'clock. Television and movie star Rock Hudson is in a hospital in Paris tonight. He is suffering from inoperable liver cancer. As Angela Black reports, there is speculation the disease was brought on by AIDS. Rock Hudson, 59 years of age, made his most recent public appearance last week to help his longtime friend Doris Day launch her new cable TV show. Hudson looked gaunt at the time. Several days later, he checked into a hospital because he reportedly felt tired. Tonight, Hudson is said to be a very sick man, slipping in and out of a coma. When news of Hudson's illness broke this afternoon, we attempted to contact Dr. Rex Kenimer, reported to be his private physician here in Beverly Hills. However, Dr. Kenimer was referring all calls to Hudson's publicist. The actor's publicist is Dale Olson, who commented on reports that Hudson's liver cancer is possibly linked to AIDS. That has primarily been speculation by the press it has not been confirmed or denied by anyone, and I can't really confirm or deny that other than to say that he will have additional tests to determine if there is anything wrong with him besides the cancer of the liver. A specialist in liver cancer at Cedar sinai Medical Center says once the disease has been diagnosed, it often means the cancer has spread throughout the body. The uh, prognosis for uh, tumors that have spread from other organs in the body to the liver is measured in terms of months, anywhere from four to eight months uh, survival time. The news and rumors about Rock Hudson have prompted increased phone calls to the AIDS Project of Los Angeles from people seeking more information. First of all, I think it's unfortunate that anyone is rumored to, uh, to have AIDS. It would be tragic if they were. But secondly, I think if someone were diagnosed with AIDS and would come out and admit it, it sure it would do a lot for the issue because to date, People look at it as being a disease of, of mainly homosexuals or IV drug users when in fact it's a disease that should concern everyone. Hudson was one of Hollywood's biggest box office stars in the 1950s and 60s, but he is perhaps best known for a series of movies he made with that girl next door, Doris Day. Now sit down. <laughs> Where? In the seat. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Can't you get your other leg here? Oh, so, ma'am. I hate to leave without it. Hudson will see additional specialists tomorrow in Paris to determine if anything can be done to alleviate his condition. Angela Black, Channel 7, Eyewitness News. An ordinance.